Okay, my phone died while I'm trying to get the questions up, and now I have to rely on my huge, not really huge, my tablet for this. <laughs> Welcome back to my channel, and welcome back to yet another Monster Islands gameplay. And while that I am just doing some things at Monster Islands, I'm gonna be answering your guys' questions. I posted an after video for you guys to send in questions that are specifically towards Monster Islands, and I got some. I'm very surprised that I got some really good questions. Um, and just want to say thank you guys for sending in your questions and please keep in mind that I won't like get a specific answer from them Maybe it's just my, my opinion on how I see things like if it's like advice then maybe it's just my recommendation and without any further ado let's answer these all right the first question is what was your favorite event in the game uh, Easter Halloween and Christmas um Ooh, that's a hard one. <laughs> um my favorite event is definitely the Christmas event because it's really fun and really hilarious. Especially with the first part of the Christmas event with starting out with Snowman. And it's still on my channel and it's really enjoyable and I really love the text to speech because it's so it's really it's a pleasure to do, and it was actually a really fun video series to do. I got five questions, and the first one is, what is your fav- sorry, what is your most favorite MI meme on the MI Weekly? I have not even looked at those, so I'm gonna take a quick look at them. And the first one that I picked is, when you get killed in the middle of mining, and it shows like a stick figure, like, face bombing, and has to set down the computer screen. This is actually my favorite because it relates to me so much and I think it relates to everyone else because this is my literal reaction to when I get killed when I'm mining or something and then someone takes it over. The next meme that I really like is the feels when you join a server and mount with 300,000 HP is there. Um, I really like that one because actually the first time that I did go into Observate oh, Island. He, I encountered a 300,000 HP male, and I was not prepared for that. And actually, this one time, there was um um like a 500,000 HP male, and that really freaked me out because I really didn't expect like the health to go that high. The final one, which is my favorite, it reads when Pi joins your Victor server, and I don't get the specific like reaction, but I thought it was really funny because there's actually a lot of memes related to Pi. And for those of you who don't know or never heard of Pi, his username was I have Pi Gay in capital, and he is the top player versus player um player in Victor Island. And I have like saw him before, and I did get killed by him a lot of times, and I. Don't even, and I never even tried to kill him. And that's actually fact is that you can get a pet from I Have Pie if you kill him. What happened to the idea of streaming Monster Islands? Um so I was gonna stream Monster Islands and it has been mentioned a lot, but it didn't happen and I noticed it as well. So the reason why the streaming actually didn't happen is because I thought again and then I realized oh well I'm actually like not ready to stream in general because the thing is that I'm not sure if I'm ready to stream the other thing is that I'm not sure like if anyone will watch my streams and that you know it's pretty nerve-wracking because there's a lot of things you could say it's to the stream you have to keep it really entertaining so yeah i guess in general about streaming i i don't feel ready for it yet this will most likely be the final box but what is your most what is the most hardest boss you fought in most islands oh god that's a really hard question 
Um, I felt like to me, um, the most hardest boss that I have fought is. Hmm, that's a hard one. It's most likely the Howl Rods in in the in the Halloween location. I forgot what it's called specifically. It's because um. It's just a lot of complicated moves and and so, uh, so I guess I'll say how it works. What is your most favorite boss in Monster Island? Um, oh, I really, 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 really don't want to sound like the most biased person ever. Um, but I guess my favorite boss is the Christmas bot in the North Pole. I don't know, it's just really, it's just really fun to do. Like, that's, that's all I could think so far. I don't have like a quotation favorite boss that I have and I never really thought of like, like a favorite in general. Like, if it was possible for you to pick the next island to be before, what island would it be? Ooh. Ah. These questions are so good! I can't. Um. I guess if I were to pick one island to have to be reborn, it would be Qatar Island. Because I thought the atmosphere of Qatar was like really. It's really like has a spooky feeling. And I really want to see like what comes up if Steel decides to do a reborn version of Qatar Island. Would you consider trying to obtain the Omega Rainbow items? And if so, how much time will you put into them? Will you try to get them as fast as possible? Will you take your time with them? Um I guess I didn't really consider getting the Omega Rainbow items, but the only exception that I did consider in the past was the Phoenix. Um, it's because like a lot of my Monster Island colleagues and buddies have the Phoenix and they were like, Hey Mukatu, you don't have the Phoenix, let's I'm gonna help you get it and I'm like, okay. So I did put the Phoenix into consideration and then here I am. I usually have it with me. Um when you see me in games. But for the rest of the Omega items, like the LG, the bow, the, the sword, etc. I didn't really put them into consideration. I guess it's because like when the Omega weapons came out, I didn't pay attention to them. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. No. Plus. Plus. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. So to answer that question, I may consider trying to get the Omega Rainbow Islands, and if that's the case, I'm gonna take my time on it. Had fun while getting player killed while farming? No. The actual question. What do you prefer the best amulet for farming and the best amulet for battling? Oh, the best amulet for farming. It depends really what you are farming for. If you're farming for XP, or are you farming for like ores? To me, um, the best amulet if you want to farm for ores is the Crystal Burial Amulet, and it is pretty rare. I know it's kind of a pain, but this is like my highly recommended pain, like my highly recommended amulet because of the harvesting animation if you're like really don't want to get killed by someone who while you're trying to mine then I recommend this one. For battling it depends on like what battle like places with player or like you're doing an island but I guess if you're doing both then I would really recommend the crystal diamond amulet. It's just so that you risk the chance of dying fast and it helped me because I die way too fast if I'm doing a place versus player or I'm doing um, an island as well so I'll recommend this one. No, I still recommend this one. Um, the crystal 
Tanzanite Amulet, which is 20% chance to completely dodge an incoming damage strike. So with these two amulets, I recommend. I know they're a bit like real than the hardest side to get, but I think it's just my my recommendation. Ever counted how many attempts through the maze of snow beasts? Um, I really didn't consider counting how many times I tried to get through the maze because I knew I was gonna die so many times and I would lose track. So I was pretty much like, yeah, whatever, I'm not gonna count. And that was at the time when I was with Sonic Freak and we were doing a video together. And it was really, really struggling for me at least because of my reaction time and my unfamiliar reality with the maze. So, are you willing to actually collect all crystal amulets? No, because um, there's some that I'm really picky about. So I'm not going to really collect all the crystal amulets. I think I'll collect the ones that will be very helpful to me. Farming or player versus player, which is better? Um, I think farming to me is the best. I don't really have a specific reason why, that's just me. I'm not a big fan of player versus player because of the higher levels and that I die very easily. I know I have like 121 layer pills right now and I did do some. Most of them were from Juggernauts, surprisingly. How many times have you done the daily rituals, aka Juggernaut? Um. I don't really know. It's because I don't really do juggernaut that often and I'm trying to get back a juggernaut. So I don't have a number for that, sorry. What are your thoughts between the original islands and reborn islands? What which one do you prefer? Lastly, what major change do you find between those two? Um to answer the first question, I don't have like a specific thought about uh, between those two. But, which one do I prefer if I were to pick one? Oh no. My problem is that I always like, have multiple answers. But if I were to pick either one of those, I would... Oh my gosh, guys, please don't come at me. I would have to say it would be the Reborn Islands because there's more excitement to it. And there's a story to it. And the characters actually have like a personality to it. And when I first saw Bloxing Island, which was the first Reborn Island, I was like, yes! Because there's personality, there's comedy, and there's funny moments. Okay, well, that does go through the company. I think I prefer one. Um, one. Lastly, what major changes do you find between those two? Well, the first major change, obviously, is the personality in the characters. <laughs> And that is an extended storyline of a type. The other major change that I see is that there was tiny things you have to unlock, like getting through to the next stage of the island, and it elevated more. It, other than like the traditional islands, like the original islands that we see, they're more like black ground, but that but with the reborn. It's more like upper ground, and you have to go up or down or whatever. Uh, I think those like the few changes that I see between those two. What loader items you can use in order to maximize melee and power attack and damage? Oh, okay. Oh my gosh, I am. Um, I'm trying to in intake this question. I think he's asking what kind of loader items can you use to maximize power attack if you're using a melee weapon. Well, I mean, I don't really have a specific weapon, but I have potions that I can only recommend potions. I would really recommend this pack because it basically has everything that you need and also has one damage potion. But if you're on the, if you cannot afford it, like you don't have enough gold, I would recommend the strong set. If you're like a lower level or so, or like you're around like gonna reach level 100 soon. And it's only... This one is 5,400 gold, so it's not that expensive. Any advice for studying out Miles just to tell you? Um... I guess, like, I think the person's asking like, do you have any advice that Miles didn't tell you when you start off the game for the first time? 
Well, I guess the only advice that I have is just to have fun and don't be like very competitive in Monster Island because unfortunately we just sometimes are people competitive. And I've learned it the hard way because I used to be I sometimes get very competitive when I play Boys Player vs. Player and not only Monster Island there are other games like I'm too competitive. So I guess yeah, those are the only two effects that I have. It's just just have fun and don't be like very competitive in Monster Island. I mean it is good to be competitive in Monster Island as long as you have a good sport. That is all for today and I just would like to say thank you guys so much for sending in your questions. I'm sorry if I didn't like get to answer the rest of it. There was just so many good ones. And I have, and I again, I was pretty surprised that I got so many good questions from you guys. And I hope to do another version of this in the future. So if you have a question about for me about Monster Island, uh, comment down below. But please don't ask me like advanced things because I don't really know everything about Monster Island. I'm not like to know it all and stuff. So yeah. I really want to do another quite video like this in the future, so yeah. Thank you guys so much for watching, and uh, I will link this game down below in the description box if I check it out, and I will see you guys in the next video.